What's up, gamers? Finally getting back at it. So, um, yeah, back at my crib, as you guys can tell. Not back out there in the, in the fucking, um, countryside. But, um, uh, yeah, we're back here. And, um, uh, got back here on Sunday night. But, uh, this weekend, on Friday, as a matter of fact, to give you the exact time period, managed to get myself some Rona. So that was, uh, that was cool. So, uh, yeah, got COVID, so that's why I'm not, not at work right now. And, um, yeah, it was kind of feeling like shit, so I didn't, you know, just kind of was trying to rest up and shit, but, um, yeah, I feel good now, I feel fine. But I was supposed to go and get a COVID test and then go back to work. But that didn't exactly happen, because there's a fucking blizzard going on out there. Super blizzard. Tearing shit up. You and the place, I was going to go to Walgreens to get it done, and they were closed today. Excited. I guess because of the weather. So, not going back today. But I might be back at work tomorrow. Has chosen you. I'm looking for here. You he have is. no idea how overjoyed Brother. I am to see you. Normally, outsiders are forbidden inside Oasis, but he has made an exception. He? Who's he? No, I suppose you haven't. In fact, few who live outside of Oasis have. Everything you see around you, from the tallest tree to the smallest blade of grass, is a gift. A gift from him. Um... Yeah, He cut the is shit. the one who grows. He is the one who gives. And he is the one who guides. No one speaks his right. name out of reverence for his majesty. Thanks to him, the tree minders have a home. Sixty-one percent. I would have preferred that hey. he made the introduction, but I understand your hesitation. The Great One is a god tree. A living, breathing, speaking god tree. The tree minders are blessed to have this being watch over us. Bunch of crazies, <laughs> if you ask me. I don't expect you to understand everything you see here. After all, you carry the taint of technology upon you. Tree minders shun technology and embrace nature. All technology has brought the world is violence and death. Yeah, Sadly, why carry weapons? The wasteland is a hostile place, and sometimes I know we're that, forced bro. I'm to just defend ourselves against it. If that like means no fighting with manufactured why, weapons, why is that even a then question? So be that's, just, that's just being childish right there. To see you, yeah, then why you do you have any weapons? This close to the gates. That's like the shit whenever you're like your um like your dad will tell you to like either slow down and like in your car. Like here's an example that I'm thinking of, but I know it won't relate to everybody. But, like, for me, when I was driving the four-wheeler, you know, like, going through fields and shit like that, tell me to slow down, you know, I'd just be a super douche, you know, just a little dickhead, and then just drive, like, four miles an hour. Like, said slow down, you know, that little childish shit. You have but, much um, to learn about patience, my friend. At the end of the day, why did he However, care? You know, he, you he never correct. was I like, he never got point. on to me and said, hey, As you, you know, you better go races, faster. He said you, know, you were like, coming, and I, I was sent out to yeah, meet go ahead and go four miles an hour all day. You saved me gas. He wishes to meet with you. You'd be the first outsider the good old to days do so when you're fucking in a very long time. Common sense wasn't all the way there, but you're fun. It's like, here's like the the ratio. It's like your fun level is up here when you're a kid. But like your common sense and intelligence is like way down here. Then the older you get, you just kind of flip it, you know, and get it up there to where your intelligence is just like, you know... Definitely better than it was. You know, some people it varies. You know, some people only go up this high. The majority of people, you know, about here. But the fun level slowly drains out. And you, to be honest, I feel like I'd rather be dumb and stupid. Oh, and the worst. Here's the worst. Okay, so here, here's your intelligence. You know, here's the fun level. And then, you know, this is probably in like your 20s, 30s, you know, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Then if you're about 90 or 100, they're just both down at the bottom. So that means no fun or intelligence. It's just like, to um, him, you must cool, man. Like, except if you're Wolverine, of course. 
If you're Wolverine, then you can just um, look the same, feel the same, but just miss all your everybody you know because they're all dead. Very good. Let's begin the ceremony. Take all right, he had a lot to say. Now I gotta take drink. Can we begin? As soon as the rest of the tree minders are in place, we'll oh. begin. Fox, can you get out of their way? I think that might be the issue. Drink of the sap from the basin. Only then ah, here we go. Reveal himself. Drink the sap. We will now recite the blessing to ward off any harm oh, the outsider may be carrying before he proceeds to the grove. I bid you depart, agents of destruction, through the power of his divine will. Ooh. Leave our homes and bodies. The kaleidoscope time. Live no longer in them, but pass over into places where you can harm no one. Oh, I can't even move. I was going to try and jump. Essence, I call his wrath upon you, so that wherever you may go, you bear it with you. <laughs> you good, Fox? And He's just like staring at the leaves, like, holy shit. You may disappear. He's crazy. Except where you serve the health and good purposes of mankind. May no trace of you be... <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that face may was there. So I was just kind of whipping it, whipping the camera around. To judge the living and the dead. And the world by his verdure. Amen. Soon, you will peacefully into sleep, outsider. And when you awake, you will witness his Your butthole will be gaping. That's all I could think. It's like, yeah, we're just going to make you pass out. All right, you'll be fine. Just go to sleep. And um, you'll wake up peaceful. You know, they had to throw that in there. You'll wake up peaceful. It's like, oh, you're not going to do anything I wouldn't like, huh? Um, this whole thing right here took me forever to figure out where I would walk up and, oh, there's a talking tree here, because it doesn't really give it to you on your map. Speaking of which, get this shit off of here. What's Glad up, to see you're finally awake. I can't believe they made you do that stupid ceremony. <laughs> They listen when I talk, but they don't hear. You know right. what I mean? Where? Yeah, yeah, where's the microphone? You mean in here? Nah, it's just me and Herbert. He's the tree. We're old pals. The best of buddies, and we know each other, inside and out, literally. <laughs> literally. <laughs> well, his name's really Bob. I think it's funny to call him Herbert, but I don't right. think he thinks it's that funny. <laughs> You've been using that joke for a long time, too, haven't you, buddy? Well, you're quite clever. See, I tried. Bob I tried. used to ride around on top of my head. Sunk his roots right in there, you know? Ew. Well, eventually he got that, bigger bro. than me, and then I... Pretty much ended up inside. <laughs> How do you even have lungs, bro? How on earth did that happen? It was a long oh. time ago. I tend to lose track. I was exploring some sort of a military base with some other people. I think it was called Mariposa. We were pretty deep inside, and we found some weird vats of this nasty green goo. Right when we were about to leave, I think we were attacked. Last thing I remember before blacking out was something Knocking my friend into the stuff. 
You have no idea how glad I am to hear that. Or we're glad to hear that, me and Bob. I had you brought in here to ask a very simple favor. Would you please kill me? How much are you offering? I'll do anything for a price, bro. <laughs> yeah, how's it go? I wish it was that simple. No. No. There's only one way you're gonna be able to do this for me. How to put this? I've been feeling rather spread out lately. I think Bob's going full spread on us, bro. Shoved my insides around some. <laughs> it's hard to tell where everything is, but it's always that way with one's insides, isn't it? Anyway, I believe Bob's carried some of my organs into his root system. I want you to go underground and destroy my heart. Oh, yeah, no, won't they all bitch? No, don't worry about them. When you decide to go down there, I'll have a little chat with Birch. And the rest of the gang. They usually don't understand a word I say. But I'll make them come around. Ho 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 ho. Well. Yeah, cough up some caps. I used to carry those pesky caps a long time ago. But I think my pockets are in those... Shrubs over yonder. I'm pretty sure the caves below me are full of all kinds of nifty gizmos you could take on your way to my heart. Help yourself. Alright, man, I'll kill you. You will? Let's do it. Ah. <sighs> Oh, you... What's up, Nikki of the Night? How you, you been, man? You made us so... happy. Oh. Oh, isn't that right, Bob? Just... just give me a little time to... say goodbye to good old Bob, and then I'll be ready. Uh... No. Yeah, later, no. Treat. Herbert is the tree. Bob is his real name, but I call yeah, him Yeah, I get it. Herbert. Trust me, I get the joke. I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> but I'm still in here, too. What's left of me? The name's Harold. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, hey, what's up, man? Good to see you finally made it. Alright, so we could have set him on fire, but... Uh, we don't really need to do that, because... Then it's just like, boom, quest over. Wait, who I need... Yeah, I need to talk to the... Excuse me. I need to talk to these bitches down here. And I'm telling you, you've got it all wrong. Oh boy, I forgot about this Why whole thing. Why else would he have called for an outsider's I've been assistance? all right, man. Uh, I actually have the COVID right now. Uh, I was house sitting in my parents for like a week, and uh, couldn't Not stream out there. Us? And then a few days before I got back, I got COVID. Pretty sick. All you want wasn't really too bad, but gift all to um, ourselves. I was just feeling a little That's shitty, but. Yeah, I'm good now. Haven't been to work in like six days at this point. 
I can't allow that. And uh, I won't like I was saying earlier, uh, it's like snowing really bad outside. We are and I feel fine now. I just need to get a COVID test from like to the an actual. It can't be like an at-home test or whatever. So like Why else I had, I was gonna go to Walgreens to today road. and get one done. Perhaps but of course, um, with all the snow yes, and shit, they weren't even open. So yeah, I'm doing all right. Kind of feel like I'm taking like a mini I know vacation why you're right here. now. And despite what my wife thinks, I know you'll do what's best for Oasis. After all, he chose you, and he would never want to put us in harm's way. Um. Oh, he's testing you now. Just I think like we're gonna go us. ahead and kill him. He wants to see if your There's faith one is you can leave him alive if you want to. Incredible stories. Yeah, that's kind of selfish. It's like, no, man, it's for the better. It's like all of this. For like the good of the world. Don't so worry. I'm just going to make you You'll stay there for eternity. As I do. Thanks, man. Yes, I've been pondering that riddle myself for some time now, and I think <laughs> I know what he's trying riddle. to tell us. The Great One's influence is growing, and soon it will break free of the confines of this secluded veil. We can't allow Oasis to call attention to itself like that. It would be the end of him. You misinterpret his words, <laughs> my friend. He wants you to extinguish that which seeks to make him vulnerable. If the same sap that you drank to purify yourself could be applied to his heart, it should stop the spread. I can promise you no harm would come to him. That's all I ask of you, outsider. Nothing more, nothing less. I gotta talk to her. Speak. I love Birch, but sometimes I think he doesn't see the big picture. The spreading of his influence is not a curse. It's a great miracle. A benefit meant for the entire wasteland. Of course we do. He yearns to share his miracles with the whole world. To give the gift of life back to the dead wasteland. It's upsetting him to no end, but Birch can't see the pain it's causing. But now that you're here, I have a feeling the winds are about to change. Um, I heard what my husband well, wanted you to uh, do. Be all dramatic about what it. I propose is an alternative. The same person that created the sap also created this liniment. If you can reach his heart, it will assist him in making his influence increase. Instead of centuries, the wasteland will become green in mere decades. Just imagine how glorious that would be. Glorious. All right, bro, let me through. Ranch oh, wait a minute. This guy, um... Oh, that's right. I have to do that. Um. Exactly. All I saw. But this. No. Um. Okay. I think it might have to be after we beat the quest. He'll give us something. At one point. That homeboy used to be with the Brotherhood at some point. Think. All right. I haven't played this game in a fat minute. I was playing some Halo Infinite though when I was out of my parents' place. Gaming on that. It's actually uh, been digging it a lot more lately. I'm pretty sure there's some Mylers down here. I can't believe it made me, or it gave me the hit. Don't know if anybody noticed, but I was completely off when I pulled the trigger. Ooh, got some eggs. <laughs> Taking a shit, bro? Oh, 
Oh, hi. Um, can I hit something, please? There we go. So I haven't really found any of those gizmos Harold was talking about at first. Oh, you thought I was talking to Veronica for a second? Nope. That's about, that's, uh, about like fucking 2,000 miles to the west. <laughs> See you, dude. You even gonna pop back up? Ah! Oh, that ain't gonna work. Now I release you. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and munch down on some of this food for a second. A little late on the swing. Ooh, got some gizmos. All right, where you at? Oh, big miss. All right. Oh. Get him a couple of these. Alright, big swing. Didn't do it. Oh, shit. Alright. He's dead. Wait. Did I come from this way? No, I don't think so. No, I did not. All right, we found the the heart. Let's just go because we can accelerate his growth or stop it, or we can just kill the motherfucker. So now, uh, since we blew up his heart, Harold's mutation. Now my skin is hard as tree bark. All right, you're welcome, buddy. into a damp cave. Sounds fun. Oh, 
keep the sword out. Come on. We're totally gonna cheese this. Oh, oh never mind. He can move too. Where's Fox at? That's a good question. Hey Oh! <laughs> they playing peekaboo in the water. Oh! Oh! Finally. All right. Hey, nice. Oh, there you are, buddy. Thanks for the help. Alright, how do I get out of here? So I jumped from there. Probably this way. Alright, good shit. Uh, uh, this still feels like you're playing a mod more than a DLC. Well, the thing is, this isn't even a DLC. This is like main game. I'm definitely using the DLC weapons, though. That's for sure. Welcome. The great one okay, is dead. Okay, I'll stab this dude in the face. by your hand. Don't worry. I hold no grudge towards you. You'll have to forgive my people at a time like this. But yeah, this one does look a lot they different than New Vegas. They aren't used to being so lost. Sure. Everything's and definitely once, a lot like greener. I don't and, have like, the words to help them. Not as brown or orange as New Vegas. Before you reached his heart, he imparted his last words to me. He told me about his will to die, and how I mistook this for some mystical sign. How could I have been so blind? How could I have misled all these people? Perhaps, if I would have spent more time getting to know him, things would have turned out different. Even though the Great will One become has left of this us, place? our memories of him will never die. With Bloomseer Poplar's help, I'm confident we can keep Oasis alive and carry on as treeminders. Go now, outsider. Go, but never forget the gifts the Great One bestowed upon us. Good shit. Now, if we talk to other people around here, though, they should give us some goodies, like a couple of them. One second. I know that Brotherhood guy will give us something. I, I think it varies by, like, which decision you do. Maybe if I kill Harold, they won't even give me anything. Can't remember, but we'll find out. What oh, about... Hey, is it what you? is it you need outside? Yeah, I already... I'll remain... No, never mind. Hiya! What about you? Now that Harold's gone... I lost my bestest friend. All I want to do is cry. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm pretty sure if I do kill him then nobody wants to give me shit. I think that might be how it works. Is this a gate to go outside? Yeah. Alright, what else do we have up here? We can go up to these these shacks since we're like nearby. They are definitely not fun, so uh, let me. All right. Also, probably a good idea to. Where is it? Perfect.
So getting to these shacks, I gotta try and remember how to do that. It's not super hard, but they're like above. Like there's trenches that are like underneath of them. Sometimes when you go over there, you can get kind of caught underneath of it. And just get wrecked. Figure out what I'm talking about before too long. gonna be up there <laughs> there you go buddy the way he runs with that backpack on is fucking hilarious just like throwing wide elbows I figured that wasn't going to work. Yeah, here's a random encounter. What are you guys doing down here? Who are what you? do you need? Ah. Um, what do you got? Got anything over here? Now, this is kind of a gross place to be hanging out, bro. What's up, doggy? Alright, let's try and go back up there. Really surprised no enemies have come out and tried to kill us yet. I know the Enclave really like to either spawn up here or... The shit that's way... Okay, here we go. Yeah, we'll definitely have some enemies in a second. I have a feeling that's going to be an overlord. Did I hit him? Sure did. Yeah, he's an overlord. Can't tell if I'm hitting a tree or if I'm hitting him. Alright, I look like I'm hitting him. These dudes are so bullet spongy, it's unbelievable. Alright, I'm just gonna move in closer. Yeah, that only did that much damage. Alright, headshot. Alright, let's um, go ahead and get this baby out. Nice 
concerned about this. Yeah, me too, buddy. A little concerned. Kind of concerned why there's only two enemies here. Plus the rest of them are inside. Okay, here's some more. Please, someone. Here. Ah, oh, fuck. Go ahead. I'm... I'm alive! I can't believe it! I'm alive! Here, I managed to hide this stuff before they tied me up. You take it. It's the best I can do to thank you. Here, thank you again. Yeah, no problem. I'm gonna I'm try to only did it, it for the XP. If it's still there. But yeah, my voice is a little fucked up from COVID. Just from, like, coughing and shit like that. But really, I didn't get it, like, as bad as, like, other people did. Got kind of lucky. Please. Found you! Some... Ah. Sorry, did I interrupt your little, uh, meeting? We'll walk away. Get him. There we go. And you can go free. Oh my god! I thought I was dead! You saved me! They dropped this stuff. Why don't you take it? It's all I have. They won't Thanks, catch bro. me again. Alright, let me fix some shit. Alright. What you got here? Blood pack? So close. Oh, already searched him. I'm a moron. What you got in here? I think this is the last one we can go into. Anyone in here? We're good. miss that safe down there. Alright, I think we're good here. So what else is up here towards the top? Vault 92. I'm trying to remember... Oh yeah, that's the one with the... Violin and shit. Alright, we'll go there later. Because we don't have the quest yet. So we just end up going there and then have to come back. Let's 
check out this place. I cannot remember what is there. But for some reason, I feel like it just rings a bell for some reason. Yeah, Fox is a good good karma follower. Ooh, that reminds me. Did I even... Alright, yeah, I'm still good. Yeah, that, that reminds me. I can pick up another good karma follower. Good call! Because now uh, we can go to the Citadel and pick up what's-her-face. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm at the end game, so, whoops, if I go to the Citadel, you gotta do the main quest, which, which, that's fine. Honestly, might just do that anyway. Oh, I'm stupid. Yeah, this COVID shit, it's making my brain feel really off, though. Like, um, little shit, like, like, why did I shoot him, like, two or three times with a dart gun? Well, I needed to do it once. But, like, yeah, I feel like I'm kind of being a little quieter, too, but just has my brain a little fucked up. Just kind of feeling a little slow. So, is there really nothing else here? Hey, you got some ammo. I'll take it. That sounds like a sentry bot. Actually. Oh. Let's just watch this play out. Winner gets a bullet to the head. It's you. <laughs> Alright, so there really was nothing here. But, um, Shale Bridge. What place is that? Hmm. Fuck okay, it, let's check it out. Really have no memory of that place for some reason. This other one's still in the water. Yeah. Big miss. Good job. I'm gonna wait till daytime. Yeah, uh... Yeah, thanks, man. At least I am... Like, I'm glad I am at least feeling better, you know? Uh. Really shitty timing. Get COVID too. But, uh. Um, yeah, it's, it's just annoying. I don't even know where I got it from either. But at this point, it's just like going to the, the grocery store. It's just like you can just pick it up from somebody there. Ooh, I jumped it. Whoops, I'm sorry. So is this shale bridge? I really do not remember what this place is at all. Hey, let me up here. Uh, it's not going to work. Alright, we'll cheese it. There we go. Who is up here? I mean, it does say abandoned. 
but maybe nobody. Whoa, I thought those were grenades at first. Yeah, I guess there's no one up here. All right. Cool with me. Oh, no. Oh! Right in the front. There we go. There you are. So, like, swear, like, I don't even check it, but, um, like, whenever I'm shooting at somebody, I just feel like he should always be behind me. But. Oh, hello. Good to see you, sir. Just wanted to get one little headshot in. Motherfucker. All right, hang on one second. Yeah, what is this place? Because it shows a city on the, the emblem. Hey, big caddy, big daddy king, excuse me. How are you doing, man? We're over here just chilling on this side of Twitch. Oh. I guess these guys are cool. sure where to go in here. Uh-oh, something evil is in here. Ah, it's an invader. the Ant King. Wasn't there a movie about that? Like in like the 90s or some shit? Someone could like control ants. I could be completely making that up. Hey, if there was, then someone would probably make a remake of it. In the next like, years. Dude, we're literally, I feel like in the point now where like, when they remake shit, it has to be like, Kind of like unknown, not even unknown, but just not like B level shit. Like, you can't just like, you've kind of run out of shit to remake at this point, like King Kong and all that. So, like, now it's gonna be like, dude, where's my car? You know what I mean? Like, that that's gonna be a shitty remake. Alright, not really sure what's going on in here. But yeah, dude. It's just, um, what, what would be another like shitty remake? From like something that's not even that old, yeah, because it's like, 
remaking shit from the 2000s too like it's just like you know it's 20 years ago now but holy shit definitely doesn't feel like it but at that point too it's like you don't even really need to remake them because like some movies from the 70s and shit could feel like super dated as far as like production value goes as far as 2000s go it'd be you mainly would need to remake them i feel like just to remake some of the cringy or just like uh offensive humor that's in it that'd be the big remake i mean 70s kind of had that but uh i feel like the 2000s was a raunchy time man oh you just pulled an awesome prank on your roommate huh what was that did you hit him with the old uh whipped cream hand while he was sleeping you know did you just put whipped cream in his hand was that your whole thing dip his hand in hot water while he was passed out what kind of pranks are you pulling buddy did you just go see Jackass 4 and you got all hyped up? So you just, uh, you know, so you got a fucking giant hand outside of your of his bedroom and you walked out and you smacked him with it? You farted through the crack of my roommate's bedroom door. <laughs> so he just opened the door and just farted in it? Like, that is kind of a prank, but, and I get it, you weren't, probably weren't just like planning on pranking him. It was just in the, in the heat of the moment. But I feel like uh, a good one, if you're really trying to fuck with them, is, um, I don't know, just every every day, if he, when he's not around, just go in there and just fart on his pillowcase or something. And then just eventually, he'll slowly get pink eye, and you just sit there and laugh from a distance. Alrighty. So I'm kind of just looking over there, and there's not really a whole lot else we can do. So let's go back to the Citadel. There we go. Hit up that citadel. <laughs> but uh, I was speaking to Walgreens earlier, saying I had an appointment at that place. I have a friend that works there, and she was telling me that uh, when they throw out pill bottles, right? And they throw them in the dumpster. Uh, they rip off those labels, or they'll mark them out with a marker, one or the other. And but they'll just be pill bottles, right, in the in the dumpster. They said they've caught people digging through there and like licking the inside of them. You know what I mean? Just to tr just because there's like pill residue or something, but you don't even know what it is. So it's like someone could just sit there, be licking like uh, I don't know, like birth control medicine or just like, you know, shit for gout, like gout medicine. Just like, and it's like, is that even gonna? It's like it won't even get you high. You know what I mean? Even just licking perk residue or whatever the Xanax residue, whatever you're looking for. Whatever scummy shit you're trying All to find. The longer we sit here, the more time All they right, have we're to here. shore up their defenses. Hope you guys didn't mind waiting for like six later. days. We barely have I completed that last quest a long time ago. We've been over this before, Sarah. So we just wait until they decide we're next on the list? If the pride goes in now, we might have a chance. And if you fail, then what? The risk is not worth the risk. Then what? I agree. Without the Gek, the Purifier is useless to the Enclave anyway. They may give up before long. I don't like it. You don't have to like it, Sarah. You just have to What the fuck orders. is correct, Big Daddy King? Yes, Father. That is so, correct. So, you're back. We had feared both you and the Gek were lost. Were you successful? Yes. No. Excellent. With that... Then we must go at once. If you have any other information, tell me now before we mobilize. Any help you can give might save lives. Here, I take see. This. Thank you. I'll see to it that it's disposed of properly once the scribes have had time to analyze it. Perhaps we have underestimated the Enclave. Sarah may be right. An attack may be necessary now. If the Enclave has the game, oh, there's nothing stopping them from starting the purifier. They'll figure out the code eventually. I'm afraid you're right. We need to act now while we can. Send the pride in. We can do it. We can win this. All right, yeah, yeah. Sarah. The pride goes in. But I want them to have some extra firepower. Rothschild, is it ready? What? No, I, I mean... Lee and I have solved the power problems, but we've only barely finished diagnostic tests. So? 
It's not ready for field tests, let alone live fire situations. The weapons haven't been calibrated, the navigation detection system is offline. Rothschild enough. Can you make it work? Honestly? I don't know. I think we can scrape by, and I suppose if we can't... Bullshit, man. It Let's just get to it. Long run anyway. Put the bitch then in. it's decided. Sarah, you take the pride and use the robot as support. Take our friend here and secure that purifier. Yes, sir. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know that my father and I have been talking. The Pride and I have decided that after all you've survived, you've done enough to be an honorary member of Lion's Pride. So congratulations. Membership comes with some privileges, including our power armor. You want the full suit or the recon armor? Um, sure thing. Power armor, Hopefully, duh. it'll give you a bit of an... Okay. So do you... Now, yeah. that's what I like to hear, soldier. You all packed? Okay, don't be nervous. You'll have the whole pride backing you up, not to mention this giant tin can. Just stay safe until we reach the purifier. You're no good to us if you're dead. And don't let that thing step um, on you. Fair enough. Okay, we're going to go over it one more time. The pride is on me. The goal is Project Purity, but we can't get into the facility with those energy fields up. Rothschild and Lee say this robot should be able to take down the energy fields. So we're on fire support. We stay close to the thing, keep it clear, and get it to where it needs to go. Once the fields are down, we head straight for the facility. We'll use the robot to keep them occupied while we get inside and secure the control room. We need to move quickly before we lose the chance to surprise them. Get whatever supplies you don't already have, and we'll meet in the Bailey. When we're done with this, everyone can have a nice cold glass of water on me. Let's move. All right, Rothschild, fire it up. Pride, move out! Let's roll. Can I move, please? Weapons hot. The destruction of any and all Chinese communists. Can I please move? There we go. Alrighty, so Something Fox, my man. Troubling you, my friend. You said that very weird that By time. all means, let's. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Okay. Uh, what about... No. No. Alright, that's fine. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna slowly trek our way into this room. I'm gonna find a container. Yes. I would just sell to this chick in here, but she's stuck in an animation right now. I know she is. Hey. No, you're not jumping, but you're. For you're... elder lions. For yeah, elder that's lions. what I expected. Yeah. You run into some of these people, and they're literally just jumping up and down, like pumping their fists. I'll say that same thing. For elder lions. Is uh, yeah. Let's see if I can talk to her right now. Hey, you. Project Purity is as good as ours. Yeah, that's what I figured. Okay. Yeah, there's another set of power armor. Alright, let's head outside. That's another follower that we can get. But I guess not right now. Drop them. Oh shit, there's the exit. Yeah, yeah, let's go, guys. Not gonna lie, I'd like to wait till daytime for us to do this. That would be very poggers, so. Please let me wait. Oh, never mind. The game crashed. So I guess we're not waiting. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gents, so I just need to go and uh, reload the game real quick. Should take like two seconds, but I will be right back.
Oh, open it again. By accident? No. All right, what's good, ladies and gents? We're back. All right. Always got to deal with the new or the I almost said New Vegas crashes. New Vegas and Fallout 3 crashes. They're pretty much a given in like at least every other playthrough. By playthrough, I mean like stream. Like anytime you hop on and just play it or just anything, not even a full playthrough play for a couple hours, it's pretty much guaranteed it's going to crash. It's just the way of the land. Alright, we good? Alright, let's wait. Hey, what's up, Billy the Kid? How you doing, man? Shit's getting crazy! Alright, so since we got this badass running in front of us... We should be fine, but honestly, one of our worst enemies is him. Can't tell you how many times I've been killed by that motherfucker. Fallout's doing pretty good, man. We just survived a game crash. No, but it's only been one. Oh, don't be a puss. It really is useless. Whoa! The sniper rifle went flying past me. See ya. All right, gonna do a little safety save right here. I'm gonna be doing a few of these throughout this little run. And trust me, you guys will thank me later. Obstruction detected. Composition. I got? Titanium alloy supplemented by. I would like. Botanic resonance barrier. Probability of mission hindrance. Zero percent. Nice. Yep. It really is useless for me to shoot, but I'll just pretend I'm making a difference. Yeah, there we go. Got a kill. Oh my god, you see what I mean? This is exactly what I mean. I mainly died from that motherfucker right there. I was just throwing moves like crazy. I really just need to stay behind him. The fuck, man? You just kind of go through the Weasel my way through this? Nah. Do I have one of those incinerators? I do not. Uh, Communist that was detected on American soil. Lethal fork. Send game. Going Liberty Prime, I think that was your fault. Either he just threw a nuke at that, or um, it just happened to blow up. But man, I am glad I did that little safety save. Obstruction detected. Composition parameters. Titanium oh, alloy supplemented by photonic resonance. Right, 
probability of mission hindrance. Zero percent. I guess I'll hang back here with you fellas. Probably should uh, heal up real quick. made it past that little section go ahead and do another save real quick I think the biggest problem is running out in front of him as slow as the fucker goes like he just really needs to be so high yeah that's right throw that nuke are whoops never want to drop my stim packs there's never an option all right Democ what you got in here is non-negotiable um can you move fox Embrace democracy or you will be eradicated Initiating Directive 7395. <laughs> See ya. I like how he just like jumped and his head popped off. Anchorage will be liberated. Revised stratagem. Initiate photonic resonance overcharge. Yeah, I've played through Fallout 4. Uh, I've played through that one a couple times. What I really like about that one, man, is that uh, you can do mods. Like on console and shit. Because uh, I've always been kind of excluded from the mod scene. Fallout just because I've always had it on like Xbox. Or being the first one to do that was pretty dope. I actually did enjoy that one a lot. And it's like, my whole thing, I could play that on stream, but that game is just so massively fat, and you can put so much time into doing little shit, like modding your weapons, and just like, like just 
minute, useless shit. You just put so much time into it where it's just like, dude, if I did, if I tried doing a playthrough of that on stream, I'd be there for fucking, like, I don't even know, like, probably like four months at least just dedicated to that game. Shit is pretty fun, but, um, yeah, it's just insanely huge. Alright, what you guys up to? But New Vegas is probably my favorite, though, for sure. Oh, you got something for us? Fucking go in there, then, man. Show them what you got. I'm about to show them what I got. Got my little shock sword ready to go. Eat shit, buddy. Watch out. Uh, give me your finger. Yeah. Gonna finger myself later on. Oh, shit. Here we go. level up to right before the end of the game uh, uh, might as well get that up to a hundred right or wait a minute there might no no don't do that because I think there I have a bobblehead for that that I may not have picked up yet yeah I'll have to check that out and see I will go ahead and bump this up to 60 And, um, fuck it. 59. No weakness. Yeah, those are all, like, karma perks. All right, yeah, I'll take that one. Sneak up to a robot, we can unplug it. <clears throat> New Vegas is your fave too. Yeah. You again. Oh my God. I can't say. Box, I'm surprised. could you please move? You and your ilk seem hell bent on destroying everything our government has worked to achieve. There's nothing to stop me from killing you this time. Let's end yeah, this. Yeah, I feel overall people like New Vegas the best, and there's definitely good reason for it. You're uh, in over yeah, your head, enjoy killing you, buddy. But this is the path you choose for yourself. Tell your father I said hello. Ooh, Why tell my father. Anymore? Good one. I'm gonna kill you for that. Never mind, the mysterious stranger's killing you. Oh, that was so, like, last minute. The way he popped in there, it was, like, literally about to go to Vats, and he just, like, like, he was running late for work. You know what I mean? It was just, like, fucking come sprinting into the scene, like, sorry, man. Like, couldn't get my fucking, um, my shower to turn on. Like, it, you know, it just comes in with a bunch of excuses. Alarm didn't go off, bro. Who's left? Oh, I'm so stupid. I can't even tell that was like an enemy. Well, that takes care of that. By now, sure the pride does. should be mopping up whatever opposition is left outside. Let's get this room secured. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Search his ass. Oh, is anyone there? Here we go. Now we got some good getup going on. Dr. Lee, it's Sarah Lyons. I'm in the control room. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is a pretty boy look right here. This is how you get the ladies. So now we just gotta wait for her to do her little spiel real quick. Oh, hello. We may be able to... I don't want to talk to you, bro. Get out of here. 
Alright. I might be able to repair Eugene real quick. Yup, yup. What about this? Yeah. Well, let's do it. I'm afraid there are fuel levels of radiation inside the chamber. I'm sorry. I wish there was some other way, but there's just no time. It has to be done now, or the damage will be catastrophic. Right. Well, so much for celebrating. One of us is going to have to go in there and turn the damn thing on. And whoever does it isn't coming back out. Not exactly how I imagined going out, you know? So, what should we do? Draw straws? If Fox can start the purifier, no. You're going to have I'll to be quick it. about it. If the radiation is bad enough, you won't have much time. Ain't nothing but a thing. I won't forget what you've done here. No one will. Thank you. We're going off with a heroic send-off. All right, we gotta type in three. Up, oh, click it, click it. One. Click it. Six. Enter. Oh my God! It, wait. Not 316, it's 216, isn't it? Alright, uh, 2, 1, 6. Alright, there we go. That was not a meme, by the way. I did not do that for a joke. I totally. Th I don't know what. I guess Austin 316 was that I, what I was thinking of? Fucking stone cold walking down this ramp. I'm gonna start the fear fire. Let's see what kind of horrific, fucked up ending we get. And so it was that the lone wanderer ventured forth from Vault 101, intent on discovering the fate of a father who had once sacrificed the future of humanity for that of his only child. The Capital Wasteland proved a cruel, inhospitable place. But the Lone Wanderer refused to surrender to the vices that had claimed so many others. The values passed uh, on from father that. to child. I Selflessness, a dickhead, but right out compassion, of the honor guided this noble soul through countless trials and triumphs. But it was not until the end of this long road that the Lone Wanderer learned the true meaning of that greatest of virtues, sacrifice. Stepping into the irradiated control chamber of Project Purity, the child followed the example of the father, sacrificing life itself for the greater good of mankind. Thankfully, when selected by the sinister president to be his instrument of annihilation, the Wanderer refused. Humanity, nah, man, with all its flaws, was deemed worthy of preservation. I pass on grass, man. The waters of life flowed at last, free and pure for any and all. The capital wasteland, at long last, was saved. So Megaton. ends the story Megaton of the Lone was not Wanderer. Saved. I can't believe they who didn't stepped even through the great door of Vault 101 didn't even show a picture of and it. into the annals of legend. But the tale of humanity will never come to a close. For the struggle of survival is a war without end. And war. War never changes. Oh, how cute. Alright, so we reached the the half end. We reached the mid ending. All you gotta do is spend like an extra ten extra dollars and, and you can move on past all that. Hey, we're back. What do you know? We have a location to invite help at all. We have a big comatose. After all this to be left in a state like that?
Careful now, careful. Don't move too quickly. Everything's fine, you're safe. You're in the Citadel. I was starting to think you might never wake up, despite assurances to the contrary. I've been coming down here every day to see both you and my daughter. It's good that at least one of you has recovered. Please, uh, what happened? relax. Everything is fine. You were brought back to the Citadel after some sort of energy spike in the purifier. You and Sarah were both knocked unconscious. Quite a bit has happened since then. Yes, did we, win? we most certainly did. Between your help in destroying their headquarters and their subsequent defeat at the Purifier, the Enclave was thrown into disarray. Liberty Prime has been assisting our forces in removing any remaining Enclave forces. Indeed it did. The Tidal Basin is full of fresh, clean water now. We've been working to see that it's distributed to as many people as possible across the Wasteland. In fact, I'm hopeful that soon we won't be referring to the Wasteland any longer. None of this would have been <laughs> possible without the efforts of both you and your father. I doubt we shall ever be able to truly repay you. I mean, you could give me a lot of free weapons, ammo, you know, just anything you want to give me that can help me pay. <laughs> wow, well thanks for taking care of me. I I'm wonder if you might be willing to aid us a bit further. While right. we've had a decisive victory, the Enclave threat hasn't been removed yet. Indeed. We can use every able body available to us. To that end, I'm going to circumvent our standard recruitment procedures and declare you a Knight of the Brotherhood of Steel. Before you do anything else, please uh, speak Jedi with Scribe Knight, Rothschild. Perhaps? I'm sure he'll be pleased to see you again. He can brief you on the details of the last few weeks, as well as where our efforts are focused now. I understand that you've been through quite an ordeal, but the sooner you can talk to him, the sooner we can put an end to all this. Right. All right. Well, let's roll. Yeah, there's Sarah. Not trying to get an upskirt shot of you, sorry. Go ahead and break into this thing. Alright. There we go. Alright. So I you hope you'd return. What now? What now? Follow me. Alright, see, nice it's very help. good that I remember that. Because I don't know how many times I've left this place and then didn't realize my follower was still stuck down there. Alright, hey, Sawbones. You. Medical procedures initiated. Administering treat. Error, error. <laughs> oh. There has been an error in the medical subsystem. Please run a level 2 diagnostic. Command accepted. Beginning level there 2 systems diagnostic. Please stand by. I actually completely forgot I could do that. Diagnostic do, do, do. complete. Results indicate a level 7 degradation in neural pathway 0x63A82. No further information available. Uh, neural yeah, pathway sure. 0 X six three A eight two rerouted through neural pathway zero X three seven four E eight two stand by full motor functions restored diagnostic reveals no critical failures asshole thanks man um. medical procedures initiated administering treatment please stand still you actually gonna do it now? Alright, good deal. Medical procedure comp Acknowledge. No, I'm done. With the you. Rack. 
All right, nice. So I'm going to take two of these, couple of those, and uh, this is where I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I know it's been a pretty short stream, but um, COVID just still has me kind of feeling just a little off, you know? But um, try and pick back. I may not end up going to work tomorrow either. Um, who, who knows, really? But, yeah, for all I know, I could still be positive. But I was, I tested on Monday with an at-home test, and I was still positive, so... Who knows, man, but, uh, yeah, hopefully next time I'll be kind of through this whole COVID bullshit, kind of be back to normal, but, uh, yeah, thank you everyone new for stopping by, for real, make sure to drop a follow, all that good shit, and, uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one, so, uh, peace!